Slidable widgets allows you to have some slidable actions on your items that can perform some tasks. We will also implement the dismissible functionality where you can slide your item to make it disappear. Let's get started and create a list view inside our scaffold body property to show a list of our users. Therefore, firstly, we need to create a user model like this and have a list of 10 different users. Finally, inside this item builder, we will get one specific item that we want to build. Therefore, we create a method which returns list style here with the username as the title, the email address as the subtitle, and the user image as its leading. Now we want to have a slidable list view. Therefore, simply go here to our build user list style method and wrap it with the slidable widget, which this comes directly from the slidable package. And to make this work, we need to define some actions. Therefore, for the left side, we have the start action pan that it has the motion property, which is used for the sliding animation. And it has four different animations, which we are using the stretch motion animation here. Then inside the children property, we can define our slidable action with its properties like background color, icon, and label. The slidable action can be clickable by user. Therefore, we define and create our undismissed method for now and we will modify it later. And now if we slide an item from the left side, you can see our slidable action will be displayed. And of course, we can add our other actions and they will be displayed here next to it. However, we can have slidable action for the right side. Therefore, we define the end action pan here and its children property. Then we can do the same and define our slidable actions here. And now if we slide an item from the right side, you can see our slidable action will be displayed here. Next, we also want to click on our actions to perform some tasks. Therefore, we can simply go to our on dismiss method, which we have created already. And now it will take the index of the item on which we have clicked and an action. And therefore, I have created here an enum with all of our different actions like share, archive and delete. Finally, we can add the index and our actions that should be matched with our label text on each of our slidable actions. And now in our undismiss method, we first of all want to remove our item with the help of the index, which we have it here. Now if we click on one of our slidable actions, you will see it will be deleted from our list view. And next we can also perform an action based on our slidable actions enum. Therefore we can simply switch here over our action and define a different functionality. So in my case, I showed in a snack bar, which I have created its method already. So if we click on any of our slidable actions, we see our snack bar is displayed in the bottom of our app. Next, inside the list style widget here, we want to click on our item and open the slidable. Therefore, firstly, we get the parent slidable widget, which is up in our widget tree. Then here we can get the state of our item. And in case if it is closed, then we can open up our item from left side. And if it is already opened, we can close it. However, before this can work, we should wrap our list style with a builder widget. And now if I tap here on one of the item, you can see it is opening. And we can also close it by tapping on an item which is already open. Next, for making an item dismissible, first we need to add a key inside our slidable widget. Then in our start action pan, we define the dismissible property and call our dismiss method that can do some functionality based on our action. For example, here we can share an item. Now we can check this out and slide an item from the left side to dismiss that item. We can even do the same for the right side. Therefore, in our end action pane, we define the dismissible property. And if the user dismiss it, we want to delete the item from the list. As you can see, we slide an item from the right side and it will be deleted from the list. Next, we will wrap our list view slidable auto close behavior widget and set the close when open property to true now we can open only one slidable item at a time and if we try to open another one the previous one will be closed